It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I am really, really tired, but I'm not, I've been having trouble sleeping the last few days. But I was thinking, um, it is so bitter cold outside tonight. The wind chills are in the minus digits, and uh, it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow night. But I was thinking about a time when I lived up north here in Michigan. When I spent a night outside that was supposed to have been uh, mild, but it turned anything but. I, my stepson David and I were living in this house, uh, which was about 10, 12 miles from where I went to work. I worked at a senior center cooking and uh, um, going into, you know, being a home health aide, going into people's homes and doing what needed to be done so that they could stay in their places. But at, at any rate, um, the vehicle that I had um, quit working. And so, um, didn't have, it, it couldn't be repaired. It was just beyond it. Didn't have the money to get into uh, a new one. Or, I mean, even a used one. So, <clears throat> I uh, had to terminate um, myself there because I didn't have any way to, to go throughout the county to all these people's houses. I did have a bike, but that wouldn't cut it. <laughs> but I decided that, um, I think this was on a Thursday night, and Friday was payday. And I had a lot of stuff to get done because David and I were moving because I couldn't afford the place anymore that we had. It was a really nice place, too. But anyways, um, I decided that I would ride. Um, There's a dirt road that wound and twisted its way through the, these woods, and it wasn't traveled real often. But I, I didn't know. I knew I was going to have to ride my bike uh, over to the center to get my paycheck. And I wanted to get it done early, so I thought, oh, you know, it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 40s tonight. I'll, I'll dress warm for that, and I'll, uh, I'll start out on my bike for over there tonight, get about halfway, and I'll, I'll find a place to lay down and, uh, you know, crash for the night and then continue on the next in the morning to get there hopefully when they uh, opened up uh, which was I thought a good idea so I told David you know good night and um, I took off on the bike and it was already getting dark <laughs> it was already getting dark so, but, and I don't know if I said this or not, but the thing is, I didn't know how long it would take me to bike from where we lived over to where the center was. I thought this was the quickest way to accomplish what I needed to. Well, anyways, <clears throat> I was dressed appropriately for the upper 40s. And I rode down the dirt, this dirt road, it's sandy. It was hard pedaling in some areas, but uh, I... Uh, I rode down to where I figured it was about halfway and uh, stowed my bike in the weeds because I didn't want to be bothered by anybody if, if somebody drove down the road, which happened infrequently. And there was <laughs> the collapsing ruins of what was a very small cabin at one time, probably in the 20s or 30s. And so I crawled inside there and uh, tried to find a dry place to lay down, but everything was so damp in there. But I finally did lay down, and something weird happened. It started getting cold. And I was pretty sure it wasn't anywhere near the mid-40s. That night, the weather changed drastically. And it dipped down into the 20s. And I was bitter, bitter, bitter cold. Um, and I didn't know what to do. 
I tried to cover myself with uh, uh, whatever I could find, leaves, um, uh, the tar paper that was left uh, from the building, nothing, nothing helped anyways, it was just ungodly uncomfortable because it was so cold. Well, I figured I could lay there and freeze to death. I don't know if that would really happen or not, but it seemed like it was a prospect at that particular moment. <laughs> so anyways, I left my bike stowed there, and I started walking the rest of the way down that dirt road, which took me quite a while. I was nervous. It was as pitch black as pitch black could be. I could see hardly anything. And there's a heavy cloud, there's a heavy cloud cover too. So I couldn't go by the light of the, of the moon. Well, when I got, <laughs> when I got to the end of the dirt road finally, um, I saw a nursing home and their front doors were open, you know, 24 seven. So shivering so bad I could hardly talk. I went over there and went inside and explained my situation to the to the girls that were on duty. And they told me to stay inside and I could sleep in the lobby. And uh, then get up in the morning and go ahead and take care of my business. Um, so I did. I slept there all night. Uh, well, what was left of the night? Because it was really wee early hours of the morning when I when I got there. But it was just one of those kind of interesting, unusual experiences that I found myself in so very, very, very often. Well, thanks for taking the time to listen. Have a great night, and God bless.